Hello friends. Welcome back to my living room. It's nice to see everyone. Um, I hope you're all well and I hope that you're able to deal with our isolation oh, in an okay way. I've been praying for all of you and I will continue to pray as long as we have to continue to be apart. But until then, I hope these little messages inspire you. Today we're going to be talking a little bit more about promises. If you remember last week, we talked about God's promise to take care of all of creation with making rainbows. And today we're going to talk about promises that God makes to us, but also that we make to God through the use of what's called a Mobius strip. And some of you may have made these before, but it's a little bit science, it's a little bit magic, it's, it's really a neat thing. And there's many different ways to do it. Uh, check out YouTube, there's some great videos on there. Uh, first of all, you're gonna need strips of paper that are two inches wide. And I, I took a strip that is 12 inches long and I taped another 12 inch strip to it so it's 24 inches long you do not have to make yours this long it just makes it a little bit easier to see so that's why I did it this way but you can make it a little thinner and, a, and just make it an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper cut into a one and a half inch strip and tape it together you're you're good to go uh, you will need a pair of scissors also and um, good eyes because you're going to want to watch this. It's a lot of fun. I hope you enjoy it. First thing we want to do is we're going to demonstrate with this strip here. So you're going to need to take a piece of duct tape. I happen to have duct tape with kitty cats all over it, which is kind of fun. Uh, and tape the two ends of the, the paper together to make a circle. Now this circle represents a relationship with God without any covenant. You see, it's like a zero, right? So I wonder what happens when we cut into that relationship with God. Like, oh, I don't know, things happen. Let's take a look. So we're gonna cut all the way around in this circle till we reach the other side of the circle. And then, oh, what happens? We're separated from God. There's, when we run into trouble, we cut into our circle, and we don't have a relationship with God. We're on our own. We're apart. Now, what happens if we take uh, this piece of paper and instead of just putting it together in a circle we give it a really good twist and then that twist represents our covenant with God you really need a good full twist instead of a half twist <clears throat> and you put some of that duct tape on there so when you cut into that circle I'm going to make it two-sided because it'll be a little bit easier <clears throat> When you cut into that circle, in other words, you're tested, your relationship with God, you've made a promise. God's made a promise to you. And life cuts into you, things happen. And let's see what, what happens here. Look at this, two interlinked circles. We have a bond, a relationship, a connection with God when we make a promise to God. And God always keeps God's promises. So we never have to worry about that part of it. Isn't that fun? God keeps God's promises. And when we make a promise to God, our relationship works. We're together. 
God made another promise to us that you might recall we celebrated on Sunday uh, in the form of Easter. Easter is the fulfillment of God's promise to us that God loves us so much that God sent his son to sacrifice for us so that we can be with God in heaven one day. Remember this promise and remember that God always keeps promises to us. I hope you all stay well. Let's pray together. Loving God, we thank you for your promise to us. We thank you for Jesus and his sacrifice. We thank you for our relationship with you that is never broken by you. Help us to stay close to you. Help us to stay bonded to you. And help us to know your love in its fullness. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.